How's it going my friends? I'm Squizzit and I'm bringing you a guide on three easy to hunt shiny alpha Pokemon and how to do them. I'll even give you two extra honorable mentions at the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get them, where they're located, and what to do specifically. Let's do that. Our first shiny alpha target is going to be Gallade at the Alabaster Iceland, so let's go ahead and head over there. Once you're officially spawned in at the Alabaster Icelands, go ahead and fast travel up to the Pearl Settlement. At the Pearl Settlement, turn around, climb up the mountain. We are going to the temple. So we're here at the temple entrance, and we really want to start from the upper exit and to do that there's a little trick here so we got to get braviary on our plus and there's a little trick here so you're gonna press y to dive right after you press y you're gonna hit the plus button and then a immediately so it should look something like this i'm raising an altitude i don't know how long i could keep this up but you got to do it till you get to the top Y plus A, Y plus A, Y plus A, Y plus A. That's the, that's the tempo. Please don't mess this up, Squiz. Do it for the video. <laughs> A few more times. Did we get it? We got it. Okay, so we're up at the top of the temple. Not supposed to be able to get up here from down there, but we did. It's just Y plus A, Y plus A, Y plus A, and that kind of tempo. You'll figure it out for yourself once you get the hang of it. It's actually not too hard. I did it on my first try before recording the video. So what we're gonna do here is save right here outside of the uh, upper exit. So pop a save real quick. After that, we're gonna head straight in. So here we go, Snowpoint Temple. It is a little run to get to Gallade, but on the way there, you're also gonna see maybe some routes, maybe some Curlias one or two of each maybe just one one of each but we're gonna head on down there and who knows maybe for the video it might give me a shiny who knows let's <laughs> let's do it fingers crossed man fingers crossed so there's one routes nothing over there and our galley should be right down here there he is and another routes i think those have a chance of being curlia if it is not shiny Go ahead and exit your game and boot it back up. Check that out. It honestly doesn't take a long time to boot this game back up or soft reset it compared to BDSP. BDSP is an absolute nightmare. So once we're back in the Alabaster Iceland, saved right outside the temple like we had already, the seed is gonna reset. The Pokemon inside the temple are no longer the exact same Pokemon we just encountered. So we could go inside again. Here we go. Every Pokemon in here should be completely different since you saved and reset from the outside of the temple. The routes should be different, maybe even possibly some Curlia action going on in there. But Gallade should be different. Maybe I should have encountered it in the first place. But, um, yeah. Trust me, they are completely different. This is how you could shiny hunt this Alpha Gallade. So we should be coming up on our first routes here. And there it is. No shiny there, unfortunately. And then Gallade right there. Oh, and there you go. There's a Curlia. So the Curlia right there is proof that the Pokemon definitely switch. So there you go, that is how you do Gallade. Make sure you have Research 10 or Perfect on that, along with the Shiny Charm, your odds will be through the roof. Hello, Gallade. Oh! Our next Shiny Alpha target is going to be Crobat, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to this man and go to the Coronet Highlands at the Highlands Camp. Here we are at Coronet Highlands. We're gonna pop open the map, and over here at Wayward Cave, we're gonna go ahead and go to the northern entrance to the cave. So let's go ahead and pop a point right there and fly over so here we are with an alpha gold duck jeez so we're gonna save right here outside of the entrance again just like the gallade and hopefully this gold duck doesn't press me at the entrance here we go enter the cave so we're inside wayward cave we have quite a bit of spawns here there's golbat zubat or another golbat whiskash barboach if this is shaking there's gibbles inside the rocks but we're gonna go ahead and head up here switch over to weird ear and there's your alpha crobat easy as that it's not shiny there's a whisk cache in the pond over there if it's not shiny you know go ahead and exit out of the game and restart it back up it's really that simple you start from where you spawn or where you save from rather this has got to be like 10 seconds and we're already in the main menu anyway we're back in the coronet highlands just loaded up the save file there's the alpha gold duck medicine let's head back in again this is a different seed everything should be different there's a zubat there instead of a golbat the golbat over here is still the same the rock is not shaking but if it were then that would be your chance at a gibble. Let's change to weird ear here and check on the crobat. The crobat is still not shiny, but you get the point. It's gonna be totally different. The whole seed in the cave changed. So there you go. Whiskash is hanging out back there in the pond, another potential shiny. 
Make sure you have Research 10 or Perfect Dex and or, you know, the Shiny Charm. For the third Shiny Alpha Pokemon we're gonna hunt, we're gonna hunt Shiny Alpha Ursa Ring. So let's go ahead and go to the Crimson Mirelands and the Bogbound Camp. So here we are at the Crimson Mirelands. Let me pop open the map and I'm gonna give you a route here that's gonna give you a bunch of checks on a bunch of different Alpha Pokemon. So let's go ahead and show that route off right now. First, we're gonna be heading to the Ursa Ring location. The first Ursa Ring location, I forgot to mention, there are two static Ursa Ring locations, Alpha Ursa Ring locations that are always there. And that's pretty sweet. This is one of my favorite shiny Alpha hunts of all time in the game so far. So let's check if he's shiny. There you are, buddy. So he's not shiny. We're gonna land on this little ledge here. Pop back up, and now we're going to be passing Alpha Sligu, which is pretty cool. I actually got Alpha Sligu to shine while hunting for these Ursa Rings. So I'll take that. I'll take what I could get. After that, now we're going to be passing Alpha Torterra. Pretty sweet. I'm actually in the middle of this hunt right now. Alpha Torterra would be sweet to get shiny. There he is. We're going to pass over him and head directly over to Alpha Toxicroak. Big Toxicroak. I don't know why, but this one seems to take a little while to spawn, so just hang out for a second right here. There he is, not shiny. And we're gonna head over to Pachirisu now. Hit the ground, fly back up, and Pachirisu should be over here next to these trees. There you are, buddy. Now that he's not shiny, we fly up here on this cliff and check our last Alpha Ursa Ring spawn, which is right there. And if you didn't like that, you could also go from the Myrlin's camp straight down to this Ursa Ring spawn. And then after that, go to the uh, Bogbound camp down to this Ursa Ring spawn. But if you want to check all of those alphas and check if they're all shiny, which is what I do, and I've gotten quite a bit of shiny luck out of that, go ahead and take that path from Bogbound Camp down to Ursa Ring, over to Sligu, over to Torterra, to Toxicroak, to Pachirisu, up to the last and the second Ursa Ring spawn. So that'll get you one of these bad boys. Let's show them off real quick. So I got my Alpha Ursa Ring and then evolved him into Alpha Ursa Luna, huge boy let's go with the moon on his head and the clouds covering it a little bit i love it i actually have two other alpha ursa rings in my box i haven't touched just by doing this method if you didn't get your shiny alpha ursa ring go ahead and head back to jubilee village rinse and repeat the process check all the spawns come back to jubilee check the spawns come back to jubilee so on and so forth you get it right yeah you do you're smart now it's time for the two honorable mentions first i want to mention alpha drapion super easy to get head over to Cobalt Coastlands at the beachside camp. Now, here we are. All you have to do is get on your Braviary, fly a little distance over here. You get a decent handful of Pokemon that you can check are shiny. And then Alpha Drapion's gonna be right here. There he is. That's all there is to it. If he's not shiny, go back. There you go. Last but not least, and our second honorable mention, and our last Pokemon on the list, is going to be Electivire. Let's go ahead and head to Coronet Highlands at the Summit Camp if you have it unlocked. What's really cool about this one is you just need to get on your Weird Ear. No Braviary necessary. So we could check this Luxray, this Electabuzz. Sometimes there's an Ella Kid that spawns up here. Another Electabuzz, another Electabuzz, and Electivire is just right there. If he's not shiny, go ahead and head back and do the same thing. Rinse and repeat the process and you're good to go. That about wraps it up, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful or enjoyable in any way, shape, or form, a like would be super appreciated. A like does go a long way on my small channel. Helps get the video out there. I really appreciate it. Comment down below with what you're shiny hunting right now. If it's not an alpha, that's okay. Leave it down below. If it is an alpha, I'd love to know what it is. And subscribe if you want to catch more from me. I've been Squizzit. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.